where are the best places to live in Pennsylvania, but more specifically, where are the best places to live in Delaware County? If you're thinking about moving to Pennsylvania, you might be overwhelmed with all the different areas, which is why I made this video along with all the other videos on this channel to make it easier and break it down area by area. We're gonna go over what makes these towns in Delaware County so great, why people are moving there, and how much it's gonna cost you to live there. And starting out with the number one top rated town in all of Delaware County, Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. Swarthmore is a very small town, but very highly rated year after year. It's one of the top rated towns in the Philadelphia area and overall throughout the whole state. It's right on the outskirts of Swarthmore College, which is a very old and historic college, which has beautiful buildings all throughout the campus. The population of Swarthmore is on the smaller side at 6,318 residents. The average household income in Swarthmore is $107,778. For everything that Swarthmore offers, including the surrounding areas and the surrounding towns that are also very popular, the Swarthmore average housing price is definitely on the lower side for that area. The average housing cost in Swarthmore is $391,863. The school district for the Swarthmore area is the Wallingford Swarthmore School District is actually the second best school district in all of Delaware County. And it has an overall A plus rating according to niche.com. Moving on to number two, we have Radnor in Radnor Township. If you love the old architecture, you will love the Radnor area because it's surrounded by a lot of old colleges such as Villanova University, Rosemont University, Eastern University, and Cabrini College. My favorite thing about the Radnor area is the Radnor Trail. And the Radnor Trail runs along what used to be a train track, but that was abandoned in 1956 and it's now a two and a half mile trail that's very popular for runners, biking, and dog walkers. Radnor is a lot bigger of an area than Swarthmore. The population of Radnor is 31,820 people. The average household income in Radnor is $127,161. The average price of a home in Radnor is $816,681. The Radnor area offers great homes down the three and four hundred thousands all the way up to the two millions and above. So there's plenty of housing options in Radnor. Radnor is serviced by the Radnor Township School District, which has an A plus rating. The Radnor Township School District was rated the fourth best overall school district in all of Pennsylvania and was rated as the 21st overall best suburb to live in in Pennsylvania. All right, let's keep it moving. Next up we have Media PA. Media is a very, very popular town, most known for their Dining Under the Stars event, which I'll talk about in a sec, and for being known as the last town in the country that still has an active trolley that runs down their main street. The borough of Media, which is the center of town, has tons of shopping, dining, and hosts a lot of different yearly events. My favorite event that they host is the Dining Under the Stars event. From May through September, every Wednesday night, they shut down portion of their center of town and all the local restaurants have dining out in the middle of the street. It's a very, very popular thing to do in downtown media. The population of media is 5,487 people. The average household income in media is $77,708. So for everything that media offers, it is fairly affordable. Media was ranked as the ninth best suburb for young professionals, the 32nd overall overall best suburb to live in Pennsylvania and the 38th best place in all of Pennsylvania to live. The average home sale price in Media is $495,000. Another great thing about Media is you can find an awesome home down in the 300s all the way up to the one or two million dollar price range if that's what you're looking for. Media actually has two different school districts that service it. One being the Wallingford Swarthmore School District and also the Rose Tree Media School District which is also rated as A plus as well. Next we have Haverford Township. Haverford Township is about three miles west of Philadelphia. It's very close to the very popular Marion Golf Club and of course Haverford College. Residents describe it as a very welcoming community with great people, plenty of things to do, and surprisingly affordable compared to the other surrounding areas. The Haverford Township population is 49,283 people. The average 
household income in the Haverford Township area is $111,287. And even better, the average home sale price in the Haverford Township area is $420,000, with homes ranging a lot higher than that depending on your price range. If you're looking to move to the Philadelphia suburb area, Haverford Township might be a great option for you, being that close to the city, but also enjoying the benefits of living out in the suburbs. It's truly a win-win. All right, on to the next, which is the Newtown Square area. So if you watched my video all about Bucks County, the Newtown area might sound familiar because Newtown, Pennsylvania is actually in Bucks County, but Newtown Square is in Delaware County. Newtown Square was ranked as the 30th best place to retire in all of Pennsylvania. Newtown Square is described as a very well-maintained area with tons of green space and parks. Newtown Square was once known for tons of farms and fields, but is now slowly being developed into townhomes as more and more people are moving to the area. The Newtown Square Township is doing a great job at preserving some of the older buildings that date all the way back to the 17 and 1800s. The Newtown Square area has plenty of things to do, including my favorite, the Ridley Creek State Park, which is over 2,600 acres, and it offers everything from biking, running, camping, fishing, hunting, horseback riding, and overall just a great spot to just relax and watch some wildlife. And after you're done at the park, you can head down to the small center of town area that has some shopping and some dining as well. The population in Newtown Square is 13,351 residents. The average household income is $110,344. And there's a wide variety of all sorts of different types of homes and price points in the Newtown Square area, which brings us to the median price point for a home of $686,340 with both plenty of homes below and above that. The school district that services the Newtown Square area is the Marple Newtown School District, which has an A plus overall rating according to niche.com. Next we have Drexel Hill. So from all of the places on our list, Drexel Hill is the closest to Center City, Philadelphia. So you have the benefit of if you need anything or if there's something not specifically in the Drexel Hill area, you could always drive right into the center city for just about anything you would really ever need. The population of Drexel Hill is 27,939. The average household income in Drexel Hill is $71,327. And Drexel Hill has by far the lowest average sales price of a home at only $258,103, with both homes below that and all the way up to about five or six hundred thousand dollars. The school district that services the Drexel Hill area is the Upper Darby School District and Niche has that as an overall rating of B minus. If there's any specific towns in the Delaware County that you want me to make a video about, leave a comment below. If you're thinking about moving to Delaware County, the Philadelphia suburbs, or just about anywhere in Pennsylvania, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice, but until then I will see you on one of these two videos.